Hi everyone, it's Shannon, aka QB Crossing. I hope you are having a wonderful day so far. Today we are back with another Dream Island tour and this one is a tropical, beachy town. This creator is so good at just making islands in general. I always love their islands and creations and they just have a way of making really realistic builds and the most gorgeous structured builds I've ever seen. So without further ado, let's just get right into it. Okay, so first things first, let's check out the island map let's see what's going on here so this is the island of Trop Pickle, which I think is super cute because all of the creator socials are ACNH Pickleton. So it's a really cute play on a tropical island name. Also, feel free to check them out. Give them a follow because all of their islands are amazing. They are truly one of my favorite creators. So every time they release a dream address, I always run to tour it because I know it will be really inspiring. But other than that, lots of cute villagers on this island, very bright colors. I think that they're going to look really great on this island and they're just gonna be very fitting. The overall just layout is so organized. I feel like it's gonna be just great inspiration for those of us that have more structured road codes that we're using. So let's just see what's going on here. I do like that they set the time of this island to be early morning. I feel like usually with tropical islands, a lot of creators set their time to be like daytime which is amazing as well but i've never seen someone really set their tropical island to early in the morning like this and look at this entrance i love it already this is so well laid out i'm always looking for inspiration for road codes and just how to lay them out how to make my island flow because if you're like me, I'm much more comfortable decorating with a natural aesthetic. So I know we're going to get a lot of inspiration that just kind of mixes some of the more natural elements and these more structured paths and town like vibes all throughout. And we're already seeing that with the road code that they are using. I love that it has this kind of flowery edge and it also is really kind of worn away. And just on top of that, it's really just so cleverly designed. I love the coconuts on the floor. And I love that this is just a straight shot to resident services here. That is such a great way of really lining up that pathway. I also love the use of all the outdoor stalls. They definitely have that kind of beach shack vibe and they've just done such a great job with these faux buildings. It's really such a cool mix of like tropical city and natural, which is really hard in my opinion to pull off. So I'm already really in love and we're just at the entrance here. So let's see, we can actually go through this way. So I'm gonna look at what's on the left side over here. There's a ton of stuff to explore, but since the beach is accessible, I just wanna come down this way and see what's going on here. This is such a great little beach build. So typically I would say I don't care about designing my own beaches, but I guess if you're doing a tropical island, the beaches are pretty important. And if you want to decorate them, it, this seems like the type of island theme that you may want to decorate your beaches. And this is super cute. It looks like it's a little place to rent some surfboards and just overall like swimming and surfing gear, which looks just so, so good. I love that little like white tile code that's on the floor as well. And then as we come around over here, little like lounge chairs and places to sit on the beach so just great ideas for any like small uh, beach builds um, definitely a lot going on just here on this like small section of the beach also really like using this rope fencing to really just guide the actual player like through the, the overall builds and flow of the island so let's see i'm following this pathway up here and i already see that we have a little like neighborhood area and i love this i love that they're mixing so many different codes here we have this more like concrete tile code and then really getting a very like beach shack vibe with these villager houses i like that cactus item such a great item to use because it adds in a little bit of dirt at the bottom so it makes it feel kind of realistic wherever you place it even if you're placing it like they are here with this like on top of a concrete code so really love that 
um excuse me <laughs> so cute i think that's tad i feel like i i'm not the biggest fan of some of the frogs so i don't know all of their names but i believe it's tad and i think he just wants to be part of the video and the tour today so don't hate me if he's your favorite and i just didn't even know who he was <laughs> but let's see look at this view i love just turning my camera around when i'm touring these islands because we just get such an interesting view of the entire space. Over here, we're in more of a like kind of natural farmy area, but it's like right off that concrete path code. So you're just getting a really nice view of how they approach layout and just filling in spaces in general. Really like the grates over here also. It's just so realistic. I think one of the best parts of designing an island is code searching and finding the right codes for your island and they definitely did a really good job just mixing the different codes that they're using. Over here we have another villager house and it looks like there's just some plants in front. It's a really nice use of those little countertops. I just think that this is very like super cute. Look at that little mini palm tree. I don't think I've ever seen someone stunt a little palm tree like that and it's now something that I feel like I need on my island. So I just saw something back here and I don't know if we'll be able to get to it later. So yes, the peninsula is over here and this is one of the most beautiful peninsulas I have ever seen. I'm a big fan of putting buildings on my peninsula in general if you have the space, but the campsite I truly think is the best building to put on your campsite. This looks so good. I love that we're getting some of that like natural grass path along with more of the dirt pathing and then that more like worn away tile. This looks really, really nice. I love also all of the fencing behind here. It just really feels like a nice extension to the little neighborhood that we were just in. Very homey with some of those little lawn chairs and the pizza. Definitely a campsite I would love to stay in. So over here, this is right by our resident services. So I'm gonna come back up this way and head as if we were gonna go to the right of the island. I know we still probably have a lot to see towards the back, but we did not get there yet. So let's check out the left side. Looks like we have like a little parked car over here. And then you could just really pan your camera around and see how much they've done with just the overall like faux buildings in the background. It feels really, really filled, which I love when I come to an island and you just feel immersed in the entire aesthetic and really feels like you entered another like universe. I love it so much. So I love also, I have not seen anyone do pathing like this. So they're using like the concrete borders of a more structured path, but in between they have a dirt path coming through here. So it really has that overgrown, worn away feel. And this is just such a creative way of laying out your pathing. So let me open up the camera here because it looks like this is like a little beach shack or a little like beach shop and it's just so good. It, it looks so real. I love that we have a little Tom Nook poster there also. I really just like this whole setup. As you can tell, they're really good at making these faux buildings. So I'm loving that we can kind of see what like a storefront would look like in their style. So coming down here, we have some more beachy builds. There's a little like fish market over here. Such a great job with using like all these different fish like displayed out and then also the like fish cartons. I forgot what the item is called, but love it. And I love the little scale there also. Again, very realistic, very thoughtful with all of the designs that they have. And then up here, look at this layout. I love the plant partitions. It's a little place to like dock your boat and just kind of have this little like shack to have all of your stuff in. Very beach town feel and it's just so cute. I love, I love to like imagine the villagers just interacting with all of this as well. It feels like any of the villagers on this island are just living their absolute best life. So let's see, I'm gonna come up this way and see what's going on. Look at this. I feel like this is a very like small town feel like when you would kind of hang out in like your neighbor's backyard, have a little barbecue. It just feels so realistic. I love like that we don't have any fancy chairs. It's just these kind of like plastic chairs outside and the barbecue. It's it's honestly so spot on. And this path again, they're really good with the path codes that they're picking for this island because now we have more of this boardwalk feel, which is very very fitting of course for their island 
So let's see. I want to see what's going on here because this looks to be a dock for some of the boats on the island. And look at this. That is just such a stunning view. The way that they set up these layouts and even the way that they do all of their codes and the layering i'm honestly always so in awe about the way that they like go about this i would love to see how they approach setting up a build like this because it looks so so intricate i think you could spend a lot of time on this island just really looking at all the details and all the work that went into all of these builds but i am just such a huge fan of everything i've seen so far so coming up this white incline over here, this looks to be more of like a main part of town and we have the road code coming through and then lots of different shops. I mean, just absolutely stunning. I am honestly at a loss for words with some of these areas. Look at this. This is definitely, I don't know what kind of shop it is. Maybe they sell fish or just like overall little like, you know, uh, nautical goods, but I mean, I'm kind of in awe because the fish display looks like, I don't know what you would call that, but at the top of a like store building, they have, you know, you know what I'm talking about. That is so creative and I have never seen anyone do something like this. Absolutely love it. And I have toured a lot of islands. I've never seen someone do that. Over here, we have little places to sit over by nooks how freaking cute i love this i think they actually maybe made nooks into a bakery um because we have this bakery sign and that we also have like the little bistro tables over here so definitely loving that and i'm just kind of panning the camera around to see what's you know the view as you walk around different like edges of this path and then look at this we have able sisters over here so freaking cute i love that this is just this little shopping district like the little 50 percent off sign is so fitting and again all these little touches just really add to that overall realistic feel that i'm sure the creator was going for with this island so back here this is definitely a boardwalk right like i feel like this is a beach town that i've been to before i recently have been on a couple of vacations recently as in like this past summer and this definitely gives me all of the vibes that i've had as uh, my little like beach town vacations is that not the most stunning boardwalk land bridge that you've ever seen I love that water code. It is probably like the best water code that anyone has ever made for this game. And look at this. I mean, the view is just to die for. Like, I am truly like my jaw is dropped right now. I love seeing all of those stalls in the back. Also, it's just such a nice little full town vibe. And let's see, I'm going to come down here because we can actually access like this side of the beach. So, oh my God, it looks like she's swimming in the water. So cute. Really just i mean this is so so good we have more of these little shops that they've made little details all throughout here like the sand castles so these are probably just some like beachy like storefronts and little shops while you're on the beach very fitting for any type of boardwalk or just overall like beach um restaurant feels that you may be going for when you're designing an island like this Again, very realistic. Coming up here, having a little drink um, at the cafe, the little beach cafe. I feel like any store or restaurant or cafe is more exciting when it's on a beach, whether that's in Animal Crossing or real life. There's just something so exciting about being at like an outdoor bar or restaurant and that this island really embodies like that lovely like summer feeling over here lots of little places to just sit and eat again i love that it's very just charming with these like plastic chairs nothing's too fancy it definitely fits the overall just kind of low-key beach vibe that i feel like surfers have or just people who live in like a beach town always in like flip-flops nothing's ever too fancy it's definitely the feel of this island as well and then they've also created all these little areas just as lookouts. That is probably one of the most beautiful lookout views that I've ever seen. I mean, look at this. I'm just gonna pause here for a second because it's so, so pretty. Just all of the work that has went into all of the little like stores that they've created and restaurants, it really is just amazing to see. 
And over here, you can really just explore this boardwalk even more. I love that we have like the bike over here. I could definitely see like a little musician sitting over here, like how they have the guitar and just kind of hanging out and overall just feeling like the good summer, summer vibe. I feel like I've said the word vibe a lot in this video, so ignore me. I feel that that could get annoying after a while, so I'll try to, I'll try to stop. <laughs> Over here, we have more villager houses. I would love to be a villager that lives near the boardwalk. I mean, that, that kind of feels pretty ideal. And then this over here is this like abandoned pool. And look at this. I'm going to just turn from the other side over here so we could get a better view. But I love this. I've seen some people do abandoned pools before, and I always think it looks really cool. This like green and white tile is just stunning to begin with, but having like the the lounge chair is still over here, and then all of the like overgrown elements within the pool that they've carved out through terraforming, it's just so fun to look at. It's a really pretty spot, even though it's somewhere that is overgrown and kind of abandoned. It's still so just pretty to explore and i'm sure you could use these vines to get down here and actually walk around the pool area as well which is really nice love that we have some like signage over here again everything that they do is very realistic so i just love that about this creator in general like down to like having the little bathrooms over there so so good oh no did i get myself stuck the weird thing is yeah i was gonna say i got through there before so it is possible Okay, and then from here, this kind of transitions into a more natural, like foresty, rainforesty type of feel. Um, we have lots of the palm trees over here, and then lots of just great work with like natural pathing and then natural elements all throughout. I am just, you know, if you know me, I love natural builds, so I do really enjoy some of their more natural areas as well. It's definitely like a nice break from the more like structured parts of the island, so I think that this is just a really nice little touch all throughout here. And as we come up here, it looks that this leads to this kind of like concrete um more like asphalt path so i'm gonna follow this and i see that we have another little villager house with the cutest little like porch balcony area over here i mean look at the view that they have that's such a good one we even have like an overpass oh my god i really want this creator to give me a class on just city islands in general because the way that they laid this out the overpass in the distance and just the overall flow is seriously some of the best that i've ever seen so i don't know this is just unbelievable as i walk through here i'm gonna come down this incline because i don't know where this would have led us to oh i see okay so we never went up that incline before we kind of just like looked at the beaches and this really continues over here to be a little bit of like a grocery or like convenience shop up on the beach and then as we head over this way just some more little shops i think now i'm questioning myself i think we were over here right because i was down here before yes okay that's where those little uh fish stalls were and then we also had just want to confirm yes we had those little boats over there we just never went fully to the right of this path so we are doing that now let's continue over this i love that they really kept where their river mouth was and just included a bridge over here definitely just helps kind of connect two different areas and over here we have such a fun little layout going on i love this more like bright white path it looks to be maybe a cafe over here of some sort we will go through there in a second but i noticed that there's a villager house on the beach so i was wondering if i could get through but i can't i think we have to come around this way let's see i'm gonna i am gonna show us that but i just want to check out the beach first so we can focus on the rest of the island after Oh my gosh, look at the way that they decorated outside of this villager house. Wow, it's like a whole little convenience store or even like, a, I don't know, it looks like they sell ice cream because that single little ice cream cone on the stall is like the most precious thing I've ever seen. But I love this more natural look. I love that they're doing a mix of some of the houses on the beach also because I really like their style and how it changes from area to area. So it's really nice to just get a full picture of 
how they decorate in general with so many different themes really just coming together as one cohesive thing. Over here, a little bit of an ice cream shop, and then this leads right over to the pier where you can wait for Cap'n and go on a little boat tour. Boat tours are very fitting for this tropical island. I would definitely, for one, be waiting to go on a little boat tour if I was on vacation here. And then, okay, I saw this build and I love this so much because this leads to their museum. And I have to say that this may be my favorite museum build I've ever seen. Because what I love about it is that, doesn't this remind you of how you feel when you're inside that like part of the museum that is a little bit like, I don't even know what part of the museum it is, but I think it's by uh, where like all the uh, insects are, like the butterflies. This just gives me that overall really like botanical feel. I guess it just has that whole botanical garden feel to it. So it's really like an extension of what you get inside of the museum. and. I don't know they've just done such such a lovely job look at this layout here i love having the centerpiece in the in the middle there and then really just using so much greenery again to make it more of a botanical garden and an extension of the museum i think that they've really cracked the code of how to make the museum look good and that's by really extending some of the beauty of what we get inside and bringing it out as well and then it's totally covered here so they really were able to make it fit within their color palette that they wanted for this area by using some of the walls and the pillars. But that design might be one of the best Animal Crossing builds and ideas that I've ever seen. So let's come in and come through this way. I'm not sure. Oh, maybe this is like a shop outside of the museum now that I, now that I think about it, um, because I do think it's a it's a botanical garden. So maybe you can buy some things and maybe the overall theme of their museum is just more botanical in general, which huge, huge fan of. Even in real life, I would love to go to a botanical garden every day if I could. But that is definitely my kind of museum of choice, if that counts as a museum. <laughs> So let's see, coming through over this way, I know we still have a lot to see and I'm just kind of exploring as I normally would if I was touring someone's island or visiting their island. So this may not be the most productive way to get around, but I like to just go with the flow. <laughs> Over here, I love that mix of the log stakes and these party lights arches. Has that very like nighttime, like beach restaurant bar feel to it. And this leads us over to some other villager houses. Very, very cute, very fitting. Everything fits together like a little puzzle piece all throughout this island. And then coming back here, we have some more of these like outdoor restaurants and cafes and then more villager houses, which just really fill in the spaces so nicely. This also leads us back over to this, oh wait, no, we haven't been over here. I thought that this was the main like beach area, but no, we have not been over there yet. We will get back there because every time I see that, that water code, I immediately am drawn to it. But I wanna check out more of the right side before we, we head over there. So over here, we have a little like parking lot area, very, very well done. And then up here, we're gonna come up this incline and see what's going on. So little places for people to park their boats. And then if we come up over here, we have, I guess the main house area, which is the resident rep's house. And I love that they have on that second bottom level there, look at how grand their house feels such an amazing layout i think it's really fun when anyone ever adds like a second level to their house whether it's a garage of some sort or even just like a yard or a patio area they've done a really nice job of really making their house feel special so coming up over this way we have this like kind of i don't know what i would call it it's a road i was gonna call it like an intersection but it's not but anyway there's like kind of divider code in the middle here for this path so we have some traffic coming through here and it just feels again very realistic we have this sort of overpass feel on each side and this really runs through a pretty large part of the island so i'm just gonna like kind of run through it so we can see um and then if you come down here this is back and connected to 
a uh, the front side of the island, which if we look over here is where we were before. So this is like right behind where the museum was that we were at. And there's just so much to see. I don't even know if I will get to all of it, but I'm going to try to. Um, as we come through here, this is just showing how everything is connected from the museum on. So while we're down here, let's just check out the, the side over here because I did notice that this path just kind of ends and it, it becomes a little bit more natural and overgrown. And we have a villager house over here as well, which is so charming. I actually love this villager house so much. It's very just filled with nature. I love that there's actually a butterfly flying in front of their house because it definitely feels fitting for that area. So let's run back through this way before we get too um, far off course because I did kind of take us off course a bit here. But I just wanted to show how beautiful this like overpass is and just how fun it is with the mix of the different types of cars and boats and overall just so realistic so let's see Ooh, look at this we have another lookout area they have done such a wonderful job with these lookout areas and just incorporating so much greenery into this island it's been really really lovely like just to to see all of this and then look, we can even like access some of the bottom levels that we were seeing from up on the top of that overpass. And we can even access some areas over here where we have little like bikes parked, just cute little spots on the beach. Um, this is really just very thoughtful. I love that they really did incorporate so many cute little seating areas throughout this entire island. So this is behind that other villager house that we saw before. And there's even like a little cafe area over there. So, so cute. So I'm gonna come over this way really quick just to see if we missed anything on the beach. But we have this boardwalk kind of extend a bit more and then some more lounge chairs just over here on the beach also. So coming up this way, we're gonna get back up onto this incline. And I mean, really just keeping your camera panned up really helps because you can get such a great view of all the details throughout here. But let's see, I do want to see on top of this incline, we had another villager house with the same boardwalk code underneath. Really nice. I love this like kind of white aesthetic that is going on over here. And okay, you cannot get through this way, but I think it's more just to kind of fill out the area with all of the greenery and natural elements throughout. So we saw the resident rep house already. So I think what we're going to do is head back down this way now. And I do want to go back over um, here and see what we may have missed in some of these kind of like interconnecting areas or transition areas here. Coming back around this way, I do want to check out that more beachy part of the island over here. We didn't get to see before. This is just so well done. I love that we have this whole boardwalk code uh, coming through here and leading us to this villager house, which is right over on the beach. And then that water code that they're using just adds so much dimension to their overall builds. Over here, we have like a map. It's just so fitting with that boat and waiting for red. And there's just so much to explore throughout this entire little boardwalk area. Lots of shops, lots of little like nautical items and things to buy. I know for one, I would probably be spending so much time at the shops and just buying lots of random little things. But look at this. It's just so, so good. I know that we had checked out the left side before, but we had not really seen this part of the beach yet. And I think that this is just such a stunning little build over here. The way that they used this like rope fencing. And I'm not even sure which fencing this one is here. Or if this is more of that like ballet. I forgot. I don't know what that's called. I never did ballet. But maybe it's that item used as fencing. Either way, it's super creative. The mix of the natural sand and water against the boardwalk. I just will not get sick of that. So coming through here, we've already been up this incline before. So let's just really kind of do a loop around and see what we may have missed. Just get another little view of some of these little beachy natural areas that I just cannot get enough of, honestly. I also want to go to the back of that boardwalk area because we never got there yet. And oh wait, I just realized that there was a little tiny ladder that we could have went up i think right over here 
and I just want to see what the view looks like. But I love that we can get on these rooftops as well. Look at this. I really am so in awe of all of these builds and all of these little lookout areas. And I love that they've made so many things accessible. I cannot even imagine how much work went into this island because it is really decorated like fully, like to the brim. So over here, we can't get over that way. I think it's just more for some like filler areas. Um, not that they're filler because they look so good, but just to kind of fill in that whole like faux building look on the edges, lots of places to sit and we're getting a little bit of a darker color palette over here. So I really like again that as you go through the different parts of their island, we're, we're sometimes getting different color palettes, di slightly different aesthetics, and it just feels like a different like street or different like neighborhood. Very, very creative all throughout here. Again, just lots of shops, pretty much what you would see at a in, a in a beach town. So everything is very fitting. Some little outdoor places to sit or little cafes. And I just, I'm honestly, I can't get enough of this island. If it has, if it's not clear, I have nothing but really good things to say about this one. So now that we've been up there, I want to see if we've missed anything back over to the left side of the island. I know that actually I believe that we've seen most of it because we had started with the left side, but I feel like there's lots of like little areas that you can kind of just explore like little kind of nooks here and there. So I just want to make sure that I didn't miss anything, but this is definitely one that I would recommend you check out if you have the time to or if you love this island because there really is just so, so much to see see like i really think i could probably do another loop of this island and probably find one or two things that we may have missed but i think i did get everything at least i i will say that i think we've seen every part of this island and I hope you guys enjoyed this one. This is definitely going down as one of my favorite islands yet. I would love to hear what you guys thought, what you would like to see next, and I will see you guys next time. Bye. Mm -hmm.